Hello again. Now the main stories in London. The mayor is under pressure to reduce gang violence in the capital after eight teenage stabbings this month alone. A 17-year-old is fighting for his life in hospital after being shot in Tottenham yesterday, whilst a 16-year-old boy has been charged with the murder of Chima Asuji in Chingford last week. Sadiq Khan was on patrol with a Met gang violence operation in Westminster this morning and says progress has been made. Our thoughts and prayers are with Chima's uh, family. We have, we have made progress uh, back in the national trend in reducing uh, you know, teenage homicides, reducing homicides, no consolation to these bereaved families. We've, we've got to carry on making progress. And what these operations are about is we're working in those communities which have the highest amounts of uh, violence. New research has revealed that Londoners experienced a postcode lottery in maternity services during the pandemic. The London Assembly Health Committee also discovered inadequate staffing and that workers from minority groups were more likely to face discrimination. It's now calling for Sadiq Khan to push for a review across the whole NHS. 14 people, including two children, have been rescued from a fire in a four-storey building in Lewisham. It broke out in a ground-floor flat in the early hours of this morning on Polecroft Lane. 60 firefighters responded to bring the fire under control. A new super sewer project for the capital is just two years away from completion. London's sewage system was built in the 19th century and designed for a population half the size of today's. The new Tideway will stretch from Ealing to Stratford. The aim is to create a cleaner environment for the Thames. At this very moment I think there is about 8 million people living in London, which means that every time there is a big storm in London, the water overflows from the sewage system and gets poured into the river and therefore it contaminates it. So with this super sewer, we're trying to capture all that overflow water and create a better clean environment for the river Thames. Here's a look now at what is coming up at six. One, two. We'll be with Diana Moran, otherwise known as the Green Goddess from the 80s, who has been running workouts in care homes to help the elderly stay active. Let's see what the forecast has in store for the weekend. Here's Philippa Drew. ITV London, weekday weather. It's sponsored by Octopus Electric Vehicles. Car, charger and energy. Good afternoon. Well, not the best of ends to the working week. A good deal of cloud, outbreaks of rain, quite brisk winds as well. And all of that making it feel rather cool out there this afternoon. Highs of just 10 or 11 degrees Celsius. Through this evening, the rain turns a bit more persistent, heavy in places, perhaps a few rumbles of thunder, some tricky driving conditions for a time. But as the night wears on, it will start to pull its way eastwards, drier conditions tucking in from the west. And that bodes a little better as we head into tomorrow. So any lingering rain soon clearing. Sunny spells developing, a scattering of showers though, one or two of them on the heavier side, but certainly a bit warmer than today. ITV London weekday weather is sponsored by Octopus Electric Vehicles. That's all from us for now. Duncan will be back at six with the evening news, but from all of us on the lunchtime team, have a great afternoon. Bye bye for now.